going it alone here to show off the full library. By this point, I'd found all the books, or if anything, this was as good enough a point as any to show off the full library. I think I started cutting out when I found the books. It's not like you're missing anything you hadn't seen. The library is a good place to check out to learn some of the mechanics and secrets of the game. It's probably stuff you'll already know, or at least can easily figure out yourself. But there is some good information to find, including stuff you'll only find here. I'm a little confused here because there are books on both sides of the shelf. Sometimes you even find books by the characters. I like how they encompass different types of books. Some of them are just straight, here's how you do something, here's what something is. But in the fisherman's case, it was a story, teaching you how leveling up your fishing will affect how you fish. Crystallarium will be fun, that just makes gemstones for you. It's a little finicky, it's easy to accidentally put one in there you didn't mean to, and overwrite the previous one. Prismatic Shard is possibly the rarest item in the game, certainly the rarest with uses. There's a couple of uses, it does count as something you can give the museum, but there's at least one, maybe two other things you want to do with it first. You're probably not going to start seeing them until we get to a new area in the game. Legendary Fish is something we're going to have to deal with in the second, possibly third year of the LP. Not literal year, in-game year. You need to be very, very high level to reliably catch the legendary fish. They only turn up in specific spots, one each season, and one in the sewer. He's talking about yet another endgame area. I think I showed it off, it's a doorway blocked off by magic. The goblins aren't going to be relevant until the late, late game. There is an important note here regarding them, though. Void mayonnaise. I think I've touched on it. Not gonna see it for a while, but you'll want to hang on to one for a long time. That's something that just turns up once you've found a lot of books. This is actually a note to find some secret items. The only trick is reading the first letter of each word, nothing else. So it actually says Super Cucumber Town, Duck Mayo Saloon, and Strange Bun Toy Box. We'll see what those actually mean late in the LP. We've found pretty much all of those by now. I should probably mention the reason it's zoomed in like this. One, it's so you can read the text easier. Two, it's so that I could hide the item bar in case of spoilers. I recorded this much later in the LP. I did accidentally wear a mining helmet, which is a hat you don't get for a long time, but there are bigger spoilers than my item bar. Yep, not gonna see that for a long time, but if you can actually beat the Prairie King, you get your own arcade cabinet, which you can put in your house. Some important notes. Diamonds are worth a lot of money, but they don't start showing up really consistently until after level 50 in the mines. Something that isn't listed here, this was probably written before it was added, but you can also brew mead by fermenting honey. Some nice bit of lore. Doesn't come into play in the game, though. Couldn't fit his name. Some more lore. Yoba does come up as a theme throughout the game, or at least a motif. It's basically this universe's version of God. 
There is an altar to Yoba in Pierre's house, and sometimes a couple of people, like Jody, George, they'll go there and pray. And Catherine and Abigail will actually hide in Catherine's room and wait for them to leave, because they're not religious themselves. Some notes regarding marriage. You remember that guy we saw out on the beach when it was raining? He's actually relevant to that. Yeah, touching on the legendary fish. There is an ultimate legendary fish which you can't catch until you've caught all the others. <laughs> I like that. Some last minute drama. that's about everything. You can look at some of the extra text in the bookshelves. Excuse me. Would have been interesting to read some of these, though. Calico Desert is an area we can't access until we fix the bus. And that's everything in the full library.